Uh, now, so the first thing that we'll talk about in this particular diagram is we know about entity, right? And the entity presentation. This is how we can represent one entity. Now let's talk about attribute. Okay. Now, what do you mean by attribute? So attribute are, are nothing but uh, the property of the of the entity. So any entity will have different property that property will represent in the form of attributes. Now, as you can see, there is a customer entity and customer has many attribute like customer ID, customer name, customer street, customer city. Loan is another entity and loan has loan number and amount. These two are the attributes. So attributes are nothing but the property of the entity or the property of that particular object that we have. Now domain, the set of permitted value for each attribute. So each attribute will, while representing the table, will represent their, uh, what will represent is, will represent their data type, will represent uh, 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 their size and all. So all those things will represent and these representation are nothing but the domain that in which particular value we are going to take for these, under these, field. So if we have a customer ID, so what value will take? So definitely we'll take the integer for the customer ID. For the customer need, we'll take <coughs> string. For customer street also, we'll take the combination of it because we have some pin numbers, we have um, a street number also. So we'll take the combination of character and the numeric value. And the customer city will take the string. Then we have a loan where we have a loan number. So we'll put as a string or some number. And then we have the amount. Here also we'll take the, the floating point numbers or uh, a number as you can. So these are called domain. Means the permitted value to that particular attribute are called domain, right? Then we have different type of attribute that we are going to understand. So uh, what we are talking about, we are talking about simple and multi, uh, sorry, composite attribute. So simple attribute is nothing but which has a single value. Composite is, uh, is a combination of different attributes. So the name which has uh, first name, um, middle name, last name is called composite. The address is called composite, right? Now let's talk about single valued and multi valued attribute, okay? So single valued is nothing but is simple attribute, which has only one value. Now we'll talk about multi-valued attribute. So which has multiple values, okay? So let's say uh, here, it, there is an example called phone number. So phone number, can we say it is a multi-valued attribute? So phone number means uh, one person has multiple phone numbers, right? So we can say that that phone number is a multi-valued attribute. In the same way, uh, which other attribute, we can say it is a multi-valued attribute. So we have, let's say degree, right? So one person may have different degrees. You, you will get, let's say B.Tech degree, then you will get the M.Tech degree, then you'll get the PhD degree or postdoc degree or MBA degree, whatever degree you pursue after this. So if we talk about degree, of a person, so definitely a person, uh, it is not compulsory that a person has only one degree, right? It may have multiple degrees. So we can say that the the degree or the uh, what uh, whatever uh, qualification uh, he or she pursues, pursued, that particular is a multi-valued attribute. Then what else will we'll take as a multi-valued attribute? Let's say hobbies, right? So if I want to fill the person's hobbies, so can we fill only one value? So person may have different hobbies, right? It doesn't have like only one hobby it has, like listening music or playing uh, football or volleyball. So that's why we have different type of attributes. So, so I think you understood there is a single or simple attribute, single valued or simple attribute. Then there's a composite attribute and then there's a multi-valued attribute. So if you'll see this particular diagram again, so could you differentiate uh, between simple 
uh, then uh, multi valued so this is a simple attribute okay or the single value attribute then we have multi value attribute this is so phone number and uh, hobbies and uh, and what and uh, the degree will put into the double oval shape that is called multi valued attribute what about composite so composite is nothing but uh, the combination of uh, two or more attributes so that representation we will see shortly uh, let's talk about other attribute which is called derived attribute so the derived attribute is nothing but the attribute which we can compute from the existing tables attribute so when we create the table or when we create the database uh, initially we doesn't have that attribute maybe after some time we are getting that particular attribute by the value of the existing attributes so let's say the age so we have the date of birth right and we have the current year can we calculate the age if we have the date of birth if we have the current year can i calculate your current age yes i can calculate in the same way let's say uh, you have the invoice table in this you you have one particular items price and how many item a person has purchased it can we find out total amount so the total amount is also a derived attribute that we have so we'll fill the value of the quantity we'll fill the value of uh, uh, per item what is the price and then the total will be calculated after that so this is called derived attribute so which is derived from the existing attribute is called derived attribute so this is the attribute type then we have primary attribute that we 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 also known about it right so primary key is nothing but your primary attribute so if we'll take any attribute as a primary key it is called primary key attribute so about composite and multi valued it is written yeah so this is composite that how we can represent a composite so we have name here oval shape is missing so you can uh, you can just visualize that name has the oval shape so name has first name so here also we have oval shape here also we have oval shape here also we have oval shape, right so that is called composite attribute and then uh, we have address address has a street city state postal code right and a street also has street number street name and apartment or rules so here street here street is is called component attribute here address is called composite attribute here name is called composite attribute first name is called simple attribute or single valued attribute middle initial is also called simple or single value attribute then we have a uh, last name is also called single or simple valued attribute here a street number is also a single or simple value attribute name apartment number is also single or simple value attribute street city state uh, and the postal code is also simple or single value attribute a street is called component attribute so the attribute which has another component right so that that is called the component so there is a address address is a composite attribute that composite attribute has different single valued attribute but the single valued attribute which has some other value so that is called component attribute this is an example of how we can represent an er diagram okay so this is telling you about uh, let's say uh, a customer entity so this is a, there is only one entity here Uh, is a customer and customer has many attributes so uh, if we'll talk if we'll tell you that uh, could you tell me what is a single valued attribute here so anyone could uh, tell me what is single valued attribute so we have mm, can we say name is a single valued attribute no can we say last name is a single valued attribute yes so last name first name middle name are single valued or simple attribute then uh, what about customer id 
is customer id is a single value attribute yes it is single value attribute but it is also a primary key attribute then we have the phone number there is a double oval right so which type of attribute it is it is a multi valued attribute which has multiple values then we have date of birth it is a single attribute or uh, uh, composite attribute so this is a single attribute then we have uh, this is age is the derived attribute right uh, then address is a address is a compound attribute right then uh, street is a component attribute then we have ag again compound attribute right so this is how we can represent different type of attribute and this is an example how we can represent an entity so this is the way how we can represent one entity so this is one entity and there are multiple attribute of it and we have different type of attribute of that particular entity